I'm John Harrington, former astronaut and a proud citizen of the Chickasaw Nation. I was the first Native American to go to space. But it's the Earth that fascinates me the most. I'm on a mission to visit the most iconic winter sports destinations in the beautiful Western USA. From extreme sports enthusiasts to amateur snow lovers, there's something for everyone in America's winter wonderland. Montana is home to the famous Glacier National Park, but we're going off the beaten path to a little town called Olney. It's about three hours north of Missoula. This is one of the best spots around for some good old backcountry skiing. Alrighty. Hey, there. John. TJ, nice hey, to meet TJ, you. Hey, TJ, nice to meet you, man. Welcome to Great Northern Powder My Guides. My pleasure, thank you. My name's TJ Andrews, and we are at Great Northern Powder Guides up in the Stillwater State Forest. We run a backcountry cat skiing operation where we take people out into the powder and have a great time. So we're in Olney, Montana, and where exactly is that? So Olney is about 32 miles from Whitefish, okay. about 15 miles north of Kalispell. Come out of Whitefish there on your way to the Canadian border, and here we are in this beautiful, lovely bowl. If I'm coming out here, do I have to be an expert skier to do this or not? No, we have Good. variable yeah. <laughs> I know you are, I can tell, I can tell. Uh, we have a lot of variable terrain. It is good to have a little bit of experience, okay. but we will accommodate anybody. Okay. That's the best part. When you come in here, what do you do with your guests? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna give you your safety gear, your beacon, things like that. We're gonna load up in the cat. I'm gonna give you your safety talk, a little bit of instructions, make sure everyone's on the same page. And from there, we're gonna go have a good time. We're gonna ski right off the bat. Okay. You know one thing I can promise you? What's that? Is some deep snow. Awesome. Okay, let's All go right. inside. I'll let's sign do it. Thanks for Sounds good. So what do we have here? This is going to be one of our uh, steep and deep lines. Alrighty. It has some pillows and some cliff drops in it. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Should Pick be me fun. up at the bottom. <laughs> All right, we'll see you down there. All righty. Time. People want to do backcountry skiing because the idea of riding POW is something that everybody has always wanted to do for so many years and being able to do it out here in this beautiful Montana snow is something that a lot of people just want to try. Okay, John lost his ski. <laughs> Ah. Here, here we go. Imagine floating through a cloud on a pair of boards and just effortlessly floating through. That's what powder skiing is all about. I just want to keep doing that as I get older. Montana is still the last frontier. We don't have the crowds. We have amazing snow, amazing people, and almost every single day, the smile and happiness that I see on people's faces. A lot of people say it's one of the best days of their life. Welcome back, John. Oh my God. Oh, that's fabulous, man. Days like that, it's what we live for. That's, that's what life's meant to be about, right? It is. Come on, and have some fun. Nice people, good place. Thank hey, you so much. Thanks for so, joining us. My pleasure. I'm headed south now through Whitefish. Riding through the backcountry reminded me of an old friend who started a snow biking operation down in Kalispell. It's about 40 minutes south of Olney. There aren't many places where you can get such great access to pristine Montana wilderness. So I had to check this out. Greetings. John. Kyle, man, What's how up, are you? What's up, buddy? Long time no see. How you doing, man? Hey, thanks for having us here. Absolutely, Hi. man. Good to see you again. From what I understand, you told me before, you're one of the first that does this in the industry, right? Yeah. There, tours? There's only a couple of us in the whole country that do tours, and I'm the biggest right now. So and That would make you the trailblazer for snow bikes. You know, I think we are. Oh, I cool. think we're one of, cool. the, one of the pioneers of what's going on here. My name's Kyle Allred with Snow Bike Nation. I'm just outside of Glacier National Park in Kalispell, Montana. Growing up, my grandpa used to pull us on the back of his snowmobiles, and I absolutely loved doing that as a kid. 
So I knew one day I wanted to have a snowmobile and pull my kids around, I have four kids, and go play in the snow. So we did that, fell in love with snowmobiling, and then snow bikes. Started seeing these pop up on the scene here in Montana. 30 seconds riding a snow bike, I knew I gotta have one of these. Even though they've been around since you know early to mid 2000s, okay. it's still very new. And so it's still this unique thing that people are fascinated by. And, uh, and it's super fun taking people out for the first time and just watching them say time and time again, this is the coolest thing I've ever done really? in my life. I'm psyched. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's get Let's go. geared up. So one important thing okay. in snow biking is having the proper safety gear. Okay. So we're gonna do knee pads, chest protectors. I really feel like a stormtrooper now. Avalanche beacons. I'm feeling pumped up. Here you go, man. You look like a snow biker. Ready to go, awesome. dude. Thank Heck you. yeah. Heck yeah. So this is a practice area. This is the practice area. Okay. Makes it nice and easy to get the feel for it. Okay. You're not dodging trees the whole time. So uh, I don't want to dodge trees. Not yet. Let's uh, get on this and I'll go around, watch me, and then we'll get you out riding. I like it. Yep. Initially, we'll just go straight and then we'll just practice doing turns. Oh, you're a natural, man. Thank you. You did great. <laughs> that's that's just the beginning. <laughs> the whole purpose of snow biking is getting off trail and riding in the back country, right? Go in on the trail and immediately we're hopping off the trail so that we can go back, check out areas that no one can get to. I mean, no one goes back in a lot of the areas that we go, which is one of the great things about it. I've taught plenty of people to ride with zero knowledge, zero background of motorcycles. You get out on these bikes, you can forget about everything else and just focus on riding, focus on being in the moment. Fist bumps all around. That was Woo! freaking awesome. Woo! Hell yeah, dude. Freaking uh... crushed it. Well, John, it was a pleasure taking you out snow biking. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, yeah. You did great, man. Thank you. Thank and you. I look forward to riding with you again. You're Thank local, you. man. So. Thank you so much. Snow biking yesterday was a blast. I mean, that was something I yeah, had a little bit of a learning curve, but once you got going, I was, you were floating. It was, it was like powder skiing with a motor. My passion's right behind me. I retired from the Navy in 2005, and I told myself, if I don't keep flying, I'm gonna go nuts. So I bought a small plane that I fly in the back country. What I like to do is fly around here in the mountainous area and uh, fly over by Glacier National Park. I just, you know, I like seeing things from the air. I have this passion for flying since I was a little kid. Power alternator's on, we're charging. Flight control check. Reaching it up or landing it up, I should say. It's certainly breathtaking out here. Montana has so much to offer. Anyone who visits here will certainly fall in love with it, just like I did. <laughs>